the Black Death slowly moving away. So things now have a chance to return to normal. Let us begin rebuilding our court. Ah, it's actually not too bad. We are pleased with this. There is enough choice of capable men. Let us go find some more technology. Faraway lands. I'm actually impressed that the Byzantines have survived being pushed out of their homeland. That is quite rare. Usually they get eaten up from all sides. Ooh, what happened down here? Ooh. Only Hispania, the last great Muslim empire. Everything else has perished. Except for, who are you guys? The Kingdom of Khorasan. Punjab. So, these are Buddhist feudal lords. Not bad. Pomerania is now Christian and strong. Why are you fighting? I'm defending against a revolt, which you should be fine dealing with on your own. So we have done great things to restore Christendom, but yet large parts of Europe remain under the yoke of the Muslim invaders. Oh, Jerusalem has pieces around here. Ah, interesting. Right. Do we want wrath? Yes, we want wrath. We are a dualist, an eye for an eye. Ah, we didn't get it. Um, a famous bard joins us. Oh, yes, hello there. My dear future chancellor. Let's have him. By current chancellor. And hello, new chancellor. Threat de decay rate. <coughs> mm, sorry. Plus 30%. Oh, that chime sound is when a great work thing finishes. Hello, hello, hello. My pretty little palace. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for... We're going to go for... Where is it? Levy size. That's what we want. A watchtower network. Let's build that. And build nothing else, because we can't afford it. This is still being built. Andalusian. Uh, how's our threat? 29%. Who will join? <clears throat> Where do I have raised levies? Why do I have raised levies? <clears throat> there. Turn them all down. Well, Europe still recovers, so everyone will be weakened. Substantially weakened. We are still the big dog in the house. So now is a good time for war. Let's see. Let's go for something holy warish. I nah. This little piece there. No, no, no. There's no better great calls. The holy war will have to do. Valencia. No. Upper Lorraine. Too small. Think bigger. Trier. Provence. Not a bad piece. I think we go for... Burgundy. 
Yeah. Or we go for Brittany. I think we have a... Nah, that's not... Let's go for Burgundy. Get that carved out of there. And the Kingdom of Pomerania shall join us, as they are our ally. Why is my daughter not our ally? Uh, my, my dear aunt, uh, I'm sorry. I'm stuck in the past. Because she doesn't want to. <laughs> right, that was that. And we have a betrothal with her, maybe, and form an alliance thusly. Doesn't look good. Who's our kid betrothed to? Oh yeah, the genius. That's what we wanted to keep. We're not going to call him in for this. Unless someone... Enemy-like joins them. Okay, so he has troops raised already because he's fighting someone else. And moving through our, our holdings. There's a Catholic revolt he's trying to squash. Somewhere. Where are you? He's up here. So we need to be a bit careful when we raise our troops. Especially since we don't have all that many to be raised right now. On the continent at least. So we'll raise these in Paris. And raise everyone else. Should be fine. Yeah. Fine. We'll leave our retinue home. But we shall bring our own levies to this. Time to raise the ships. We are willing to weaken ourselves for the greater cause. And we do the good old board and ship routine. We'll only bring who we can board. Everyone else gets to stay home. No time to wait for stragglers. So you guys get to stay home. Ain't that fantastic news. All these guys don't get to stay home. They have to walk. They're too close. Too close not to be taken with us. And... Once we land, we'll meet up with this army. For now, we'll leave it in a defensive stance. And, of course, we shall lead them personally, have our great leaders on our flanks. And maybe we can catch out a smaller army as they move about here. Doesn't look too great. Ah. Honestly, let's... Let's get a few more of our levies in this. Not all of them, mind you. But enough at least. You guys can move directly onto the ships, please. Better safe than sorry, as it was. Good. That's a decent sized army there. That we are bringing to bear. And he's sieging down there. We shall go fight him with a large army and bring our smaller army close. Oh, 
We'll send our fleet here. Although the great conversion of Pomerania was successful, my work to help King Yaroslav the Savage has turned them into proper... Not yet done. Right, we can give him some gold. Now nah, let's send him some of my priests. They shall do the God's work. The Lord's work. God's work. We don't need these ships. Send them down. Alright, he's moving south, all the way south. So we're going to start sieging. Out here. And our large army. It's to be led by yours truly. While well, our smaller army. Let's see if we can't find a siege master somewhere. For an architect? Yes, hello. Architects have a siege thing, so that's nice. Let's invite him to court. So we have at least one siege guy. Going for us. There he is. I'm sure we have some commander slots open anyway. Ooh. Not even the worst commanders are around here. But our architect is a little bit lower. There he is. That's fine. Just a siege. He'll be paired with a few decent commanders. Take care of what needs to be taken care of. While he leads the general war effort. But we still need to be a little bit careful with the supplies that are around or not around. But since plenty of this territory has been sieged previously, he's probably going to land. Yeah. Of course he did. Okay. Lucky we didn't bring everyone. So now we can still build a decent defense force. And we do have a few commanders roaming that don't do much of anything. I think we can spare him to lead. Ah, we shall split this army. Put them here. But also this has zero defenders because it was just sieged. Once our army up here has assembled, we shall attack. And sit in defense. We lead every battle that needs to be led. That is what we do right now. We'll just keep an eye on everything and switch around as is appropriate. Should be winning this. Yeah, looks okay. Good. Are we doing our money? Let's set our levies not to reinforce so hard. We can save a bit. <laughs> we'll earn a good amount of it back through sieging. But mind you, not all of it. Uh, there's a sea invasion happening right now, so we leave our troops where they are. We can't have more than we have. Well, maybe a few more, but invading... Uh, from the sea will hurt him badly So we should be fine and Indeed we are Things quickly get out of control as my soldiers storm the gates of Nevers killing indiscriminately and sacking every building they come across They seem to have lost every discipline. That's interesting. I've never seen that Uh, 
All right. 55% chance we'll manage to regain control of the army. 5% of commanded troops are killed. Which would give a strong leader. 45%. All right. We'll try and stop it. Let's see what happens. We are weak leader. We failed. So something was destroyed down here somewhere. Some city. Oh well. And as you can see, his little attempt of getting to us was squashed. But we need to be on the offensive now before these two armies link up and become an actual issue. As long as they are weak in morale, we should be fine fighting them. Ah, god. As long as he doesn't join these armies together now, we'll be fine. Good, good, good. Let's attack this. Or rather we shouldn't. He's in a much better position there than we would be. What is happening here? Someone is fighting someone. Probably should deal with that little rebellion up there. Well, we'll have it one through sieges soon enough. Even though he's now attacking in full force at home. There we go. That's the Holy War one. Sorry, you moved your troops too late. Now we can go take care of those rebels. And we'll immediately stand down all our troops. Ah, that was... We lost a bunch there. I'm not entirely sure what we lost, but... That's okay. Probably was our own. Can deal with that. Now! On to... Taking care of the spoils of war here. Look at all these rich lands. Lovely. I'm sure there's some people deserving around here, like my dear son. Let's give him a few counties down there. And the county of Dijon. Let's give him everything down here. Let's make him a strong one. A county of Macon. And a county of uh, Charolais and a county of Chalon. Did I not already get him that? And a county of Nevers and he shall also have. Is there a duchy with this? Emirate of Burgundy. Yeah, we can usurp that. As we shall. And our dear son shall have the duchy of Burgundy. There we go. Carved out a neat little piece there. And again, we are threatening. What a surprise. But it was well worth it, I believe. I hope we're still leading troops into battle gloriously. And why is my flank man not on the flank manning the flank man? Disgrace. Why am I sailing my ships home to stand them down? Ah, well.
we should be up again so we can put our replenishment back to something that actually works. And we did win this as well. Bring our retinue home. Have this piece done. And there we go. We will retake what should be in Christian hands slowly but surely. We've already split Hispania into well, actually a few more pieces, but who's counting? I'm a little bit. But not enough make a huge difference. Yeah, everyone is joining against me again. You do you guys, you do you. I don't judge. I understand your very honest and legitimate fear. I think the next war might be actually to make them tributary or something, but I'm going to regret it because I can't expand if they are my tributary. Oh well. The hospital in Urmumheim has seen an increase in the amount of people looking for food and shelter lately. I can barely provide the food required as it is. Perhaps this could be a good opportunity to make an impression. Well, let's check on the prosperity here. There's nothing there. So I think it would be a good thing to be charitable. Arms and other supplies have been brought to the hospital. It will make the life much easier for those in need. The question now is... How to present this extraordinary gift. So, the realm provided this offering. Vassals will be happy with it, which is good because we are already a weak ruler. For another 10 years. Ouchie. So, to offset this a little bit. Um, I think this would be good. Plus, Gregarious is great. Offsetting it even further. So we only have a 50% chance of getting it. Right. The realm provided this offering. It's the truth. And we got Gregarious. So most of this is offset. Not the morale of armies thing. That's, that's a shame. But apart from that, we're fine. Now, let's check if we have some powerful vassal who needs to have a job. Doesn't look like it. Let's check if we have some laws that need Lord might go and go for a little bit higher centralization because medium doesn't hurt us. High is where it starts becoming iffy because it reduces our vassal limit. Don't really want. But medium is nice so we could have a few more uh, castles around or we could take a few more of these holdings. But I think we would just build a few more baronies in our main holdings. There's two slots left to have more castles. Not entirely sure if we're allowed to build a castle here because I remember distinctly at some point in this game you had to have a temple, a city, and then you were allowed to build another castle. So maybe that's still the, still the case, but we'll see. Let's go for higher centralization. No one gets to vote on this, so this is just as it is. Any obligations? No, everything is fine. Hereditary absolute empire. That's what I like to see. Plus my dear aunt is fighting the good fight again. Can I offer to join her war? Oh yeah. How is it going? Nowhere yet. So we would join at the earliest convenience. That's nice. So we can send our continental troops from our dear son. Who has literally no troops right now because all of this was destroyed by us and others. But we could send a good seven and a half thousand. That's nice. That's nice. We'll do that next. 